Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. Firstly, I'd like to wish every single one of you guys a happy Hallow's Eve. Wish you guys the very best. This is the kickoff season, right? Uh, the first of many uh, seasons of the holidays to come. So, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. <laughs> all right, my lovelies, so let's get into your reading, Libra. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of October 2021. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels, please step forward and guide us. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. One more. All right, let's get into your reading, Libra. Your first card here is the Nine of Swords, a bit of restlessness, um, not being able to sleep. I see you guys being very much in your head, overthinking or overanalyzing. Next is the Devil card. So you may be stressing or worrying or thinking of a situation that could be potentially you may be dealing with a Capricorn as the Devil is uh, Capricorn energy. Uh, I see you like overthinking over analyzing a situation uh with a person um that there are certain attachments here um i feel very strongly for some of you guys it's overthinking um how to approach the situation because what i'm hearing is like you're going or overthinking in your mind how you want to approach this person or how you want to communicate uh, because what i'm hearing is open communication so i feel like in the past perhaps there wasn't much communication your next card is the death card so there's definitely a transition here um there is an ending cycle for some of you guys this could be you uh walking away from any addictions um whether it's uh, addictions to substances or whether it's the addiction to being pulled or attracted to people that could have a tendency of being very toxic um with the death card though i do see a major transition i feel like uh this is you realizing and it's not just when we're talking about relationships um could be people around you, your friends, your family member, relatives, brothers, sisters, um, where you feel like you're becoming more clear on their toxic traits. Um, and I feel like the realization of that has been a process, uh, especially when we're talking about family members, when we're talking about relatives. Um, sometimes it's difficult for us to realize that to understand certain people's tactics when we're talking about toxic traits here manipulation um this can also be like people relying solely on you to kind of smooth over or you know pull them out of difficulties and in the more that they rely on you the more uh the more that they refuse to change, right? Maintaining that toxic behavior or that toxic trait, it gets to the point of realizing that sometimes we're the problem as well because you're kind of like assisting them. You're the one that is, you know, maintaining, you know, as an example, maintaining addictions. Um, if you're dealing with family, friends that uh may have certain addiction problems um and you refuse to pull away from that type of energy because you love them because you care for them um however it's in a way you're still creating that environment because you're not you're choosing not to pull away from that type of energy do you know what i'm saying it's almost like um, as an example, if you have a sister or a brother that has a tendency of just not giving a shit when we're talking about consequences um, because they solely rely on you to fix or smooth over certain situations with other people, um, it gets to the point where the more you continuously keep doing that for them, it's like you are uh, creating part of the problem. So this is you realizing that and choosing 
to pull away from that situation or pull away from those tactics or no longer encouraging or no no longer allowing and this is you holding people to their you know to their responsibilities basically um for some of you guys this can even represent um like i said you may be dealing with the capricorn or you may be dealing with the scorpio type of energy here now your next card here is the two of wands um, so there could have been a situation uh, in regards to partnerships or relationships where uh, you came to the understanding that perhaps this was a toxic environment or toxic relationship. Now, I feel heavily for some of you guys, this is someone um, that you could have gotten into a connection or into a relationship based on uh, responsibility. So for some of you guys, it could have been a situation where it's a baby mama, baby daddy, type of energy uh, for others of you it could have just represented almost like uh, you felt this very strong pull and very strong bond uh, because perhaps you guys were tested perhaps you were there for your partner through very difficult situations and vice versa so you felt like that bond was being built uh, strongly um, without realizing that you know in turn uh, they would get to the point of feeling almost like kind of like you're you becoming their safe haven um, Which is a beautiful thing the negative thing in that is when people are actively choosing not to change um, again, we go back to that of consequences and uh, That type of energy. So the two of wands here with the death card. It's realizing uh, the changes that we need to make in regards to the type of life we want if you want a life of peace and uh, you know balance as Libras often tend to do uh, there's a need for you to make decisions um, even if those decisions are to create distance between you and people that are toxic or that you may feel uh, drag you now your next card here is the ten of Pentacles so again uh, the choosing you and the choosing your peace and uh, pulling away from anyone that is toxic or that is uh, chained to you and when I hear chained it usually indicates like when we feel responsible so this could be relatives this could be family members this could be loved ones um, choosing your peace and your sanity uh, and making yourself a priority and stop saving other people that's when you start to find the balance that's when you start to prosper in life because people are no longer dragging you you're not carrying other people's weight Libra so this month of October, it's going to be very crucial and very important to make yourself a priority, um, to not only make yourself a priority, but to look out for what's best for you, Libra, and what is the best for your interest, okay? That's going to be crucial for this month. I hope you guys enjoy, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.